Hey guys, it's Paul. And as you can see, we are back in the kitchen today. As promised, we're gonna make breakfast burritos tonight. Um, I just said tonight, didn't I? Uh, you'd think that these were gonna be a morning time thing, but actually we're gonna have breakfast burritos for dinner. So as the name implies, uh, these normally would be eaten for breakfast. They're gonna make use of some common breakfast ingredients. Uh, you're gonna recognize a lot of them, but uh, you can have them for any time that you want. So let me just show you what we're gonna be using here. I'll flip my camera around so I can see what's going on. All right, there we go. Um, I have some red potatoes here, which I'm gonna chop up and make hash browns with, fresh hash browns. Uh, I think before you guys saw Shannon and I buying frozen hash browns because she wanted to make them. I don't do things that way. Um, I'm gonna make them fresh. I have some peppers, a uh, red and a green bell pepper. Taste the same, but they look different. Um, I have some jalapeno peppers for some kick, for some spice. Um, now, Shannon won't eat the jalapenos, so just Drew, Casey, and I are gonna eat those. So uh, you don't need these for this recipe. I'm just gonna show them to you in case you do wanna use them. I have some sausage. Uh, that's a lot of sausage. I'm only gonna use a few of those. But I'm gonna cook those up and put those in. I've got eggs. Um, also have cheese in the fridge still, and I've got an onion I've gotta get in the pantry. I have my potatoes peeled, and now I'm in my apron. So thumbs up for my apron. Um, you guys maybe saw I peeled five medium large red potatoes. That's actually gonna make more potatoes than I need for the burritos, but I wanna make sure that I have enough or I wanna make sure I have plenty. Somebody will always eat some extra hash browns, but uh, you don't wanna have not enough. So I got my food processor out and what's, this basically I could call a potato chopper instead of a food processor because we really only use this to shred potatoes for hash browns. Um, but we use it several times a week for that, so well worth the money. So let me see. This is gonna get loud, uh, unless Shannon or Casey edit it, like mute it. So bear with me here for a minute, guys. Potatoes are chopped now. So this food processor is funny. I always end up with like a few little pieces of potato like this. So I just take my paring knife and slice them. But mostly I end up with nice thin potato strings like that, which fry up really nice. I've got my sausage cooking over here and my hash brown pan is heating up. And there's all my shredded hash browns over there just waiting to cook. Let's get some oil. Here. So I use some peanut oil here. You can't see. There we go. And we're going to put a couple tablespoons of peanut oil in there. Let that heat up for just a second. So you want to you want your pan to be hot, but not too hot. So basically, what I'm looking for is when I put these shredded potatoes in, I want to hear them start to sizzle immediately but I don't want them exploding back out at me. You hear that? That's the sound you're looking for right there. So none of my potatoes are exploding back out at me, um, but at the same time, I can immediately hear them start to sizzle and cook. There we go, spread them out. We're gonna let that cook down for a little bit and we'll let our sausage cook while we cut up our vegetables. Okay, our sausage has cooked. And while that was cooking, I chopped up our onion, our red and green bell pepper. I also have jalapenos over here that I chopped up in their own separate pan. Um, if you have somebody that doesn't like spicy stuff, make sure you cook it, make sure you cut it up somewhere separate um, or after you've cut everything else up, then cut the spicy stuff. Um, Cause especially something like uh, jalapeno peppers or habaneros or something even hotter, um, that spice will transfer to the other stuff and that's no good. So we're gonna cook our onions and peppers in this pan. We just wanna cook these for a few minutes and get them soft. Our potatoes are done. So all we have to do now is just crumble our sausage up and then get our eggs ready. So this is artists work with a canvas 
this is my canvas right here, a burrito shell. We're getting, re we are to the point where we're gonna start cooking a burrito. So I'm gonna crumble up some sausage in here. Now, this is actually a separate pan. Once again, that I'm gonna cook stuff in because we're gonna put sausage in to start with. We're gonna put a little bit of jalapenos in here. Those are already cooked and a little bit soft. I'm going to take some of our pepper and onion mixture over here and add it. There we go. I lost the pepper. It's okay, I'll add another one. And then over here I have, these are, this is three scrambled eggs that I've already beat in a bowl. We're just gonna pour that right in. And I'm gonna start mixing it all together. And that'll take about two minutes to cook. And then we're gonna put it in our burrito shell. We are done cooking. It took just about two minutes, exactly. We're gonna put our egg mixture right in there. We're gonna take some mash or mashed potatoes, hash browns. <laughs> hash browns and we're gonna put those right on top. Now this does work with frozen hash browns as well. Um, I just like to make this stuff from scratch because I'm particular about things. Then I've got our cheese. Put that right on there. Now this is the greatest thing in the world. This is why I make these burritos and why I buy these big burrito shells because I can actually fold them. I am burrito challenged but not with these. So fold it like that, like that. Make sure your plate's rolling. Oh no, I made that big deal about bragging and then I ripped it all up. Oh guys, <laughs> look at, okay, food fail. <laughs> let's, let's try and re-roll this. I think having, Shannon said I was too rough with the burrito. Um, I felt like I had, I felt like that's how I've been rolling these, but maybe I was too rough. I definitely think having multiple plates stacked together hurt me. So, yeah, it rolled. There we go. Rolled a whole lot better. Look at that! Look at that! I am so proud of my burrito rolling skills. Just because I was never able to do it. Look. Perfect. Perfect breakfast burrito. It's breakfast in. Well, it's not a bun. A burrito. <laughs> All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope that you got to see something you haven't seen before. Uh, please leave the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Also, keep those requests coming in for food that you would like to see me make. Um, we will be doing a Q&A video pretty soon. That's why I wasn't able to do some comments. Uh, last food video I did, my parents showed up. <laughs> and this time, um, I know we're gonna do a Q&A video real soon, so I wanna save all the comments for that. So make sure to leave those comments. Um, leave the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Thanks for joining me.